not fall prey to the darkness, to the blackness that eats away at us. We must reach for hope. Journey 1633, take heart, for I have overcome the world. With hands in the air, we reach for hope. So you're a cynic? Hmm. Do you believe in an afterlife? Uh, hang on, Vicar. My turn. Do you think it's odd that three people from your church all disappeared within the same week? Um, sad, yes. Odd, no. I have pastoral care for over 30,000 people. I think I see too many deaths. Hmm. Why does someone with a law degree work as a bag man and a debt collector? Well, I prefer the company of honest men. You seem to know a lot about me. You're avoiding the question. What are you trying to achieve? Just a little bit of peace, you know. Tell me about your uh, White Hill Prison Outreach Program. Well, we've reduced the recidivism rate by 90% by finding them gainful employment. As what? Thugs for hire. Why'd you choose me? Why was I set up? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I do know that we choose ourselves. Come on, let's do this for real. What's your greatest fear, Jack? Isn't it true that you lost your wife? Would it be fair to say that uh, losing someone who's very close to you and, and being um, powerless to do anything about it, that is your greatest fear? Obviously. Yeah, I reckon losing someone you love is as bad as it gets. That would be my greatest fear, isn't it, everybody's? Well, certainly mine, yes. Right, so Tina's death would have really rattled you then. I think the death of any parishioner is... I'm not talking about any parishioner, I'm talking about your mistress. Okay, let's do this at another time when you're less confrontational. Hmm? But your services as head of CA will no longer be required. You're sacking me. We'll now be running things from within the Department of Human Safety. With all due respect, I do possess a great deal of corporate knowledge. It's been a privilege to work for the government in these difficult times. Before you go, you're aware the attack on the convoy occurred in the southwest outskirts of the city? Yes. Why aren't your resources centered there? We're following operational guidelines, Minister. No, you're not. Can I someone to help you pack up your desk? That won't be necessary. One of your people took something that belongs to Slade. We are going to get it back. Just me and you. You're the secret weapon, Trevor. You might want to go and put on your shoes. Keep quiet. Don't worry. No one's listening but my ancestors.
I'm asking you for clemency. You understand? When a man asks, you give it. Why? Because we all have good. I see your good. I see your good. I've been lashed all my life. I took your punishment. I show me some mercy, please. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. Oh. Gutless. The pair of you. Fix them to kill a man without looking in his eyes. That was the courtesy I paid the boy. Right after he shot his mouth off. Just before I snapped his neck.